and for Shana, they were in a dog fight with Holy Trinity. They won the first two sets, and then a score of 26 to 24 was set number three, and Holy Trinity making it a long and grueling game, but Shana again came out with the win, 3-1 in sets. But this should be a really good game. Again, these are the two top dogs in this league for a reason. They both made it here. Don't be surprised, this game goes to five sets. We're in for a treat today. A lot on the line today. Shabnon looking for their fourth straight Catholic League championship. The Firebirds looking to come back from being eliminated in the quarterfinals last year to winning a championship in 2024. Both liberos will sub on right away. Pat Rail for the Flyers and Brady Schmidt for the Firebirds. Something I had mentioned before, excuse me for interrupting, but this place is jam-packed. You can't see it on the far side because it's not allowed to sit there, but on the near side, there is fans in every single seat of this arena. Kellenberg will get the first attack. Rail goes to the dig. Nice hustle by McCurley to save it. And Rail gets it over on the third for the Flyers. Kellenberg will set it up. They'll go with Tagios, but a nice dig from Renda. But the tap is true from Chris Puglisi, and the Firebirds draw first blood. And that's a threat you have with such a good spike and you're looking for the kill. Sometimes when you're, all three blockers are jumping up, just a little tap over the net will do, and that's what Puglisi does right there. Puglisi will serve for the Firebirds. It'll be Prince for the kill, but a nice dig. Flyers will reset, they'll go with Carboy on the far side. Kellenberg defends it well again. And that spike is too far. That was Ethan Murray, the leader for the Firebirds, who sent that too far. Yeah, Murray, he's the one guy you don't want to let get up in the air and try to hit, go for a kill. Luckily for Shaman out there, it just goes too long. All tied up 1-1 in the first set. Carboy, the senior, serves for the Flyers. Dug by Schmidt. They'll set it up for Murray, but what a block. But no, it goes out of bounds. Point to Kellenberg. They love that outside hit. That's the game plan, really, that Coach Heiner mentioned. They love to go outside hitters with guys like Sanders. And as you see there, Murray, Shaman not able to block it, but it goes out of bounds. Kellenberg with a 2-1 lead. Ryan Bargellini will serve for the Firebirds. Rail to Jacob, and they'll go for O'Connor with the tap. That is defended well, goes out of bounds though, and Shaman will get the point. Yeah, O'Connor got a little lucky there. He was rejected by the Firebird blocker. It just goes out of bounds. Kind of get a little bit over, went kind of two with the palm there. He wants to get that loft. He's got to get it up with his fingertips and over. Rail serves. He'll set it up. This will be Exarhos, but it goes a little too far. Again, again, you see the outside hit that time. Number nine, Ryan Exarhos going for that outside hit. Goes out of bounds. Shamanad. Well, good enough job using that IQ. Don't touch that ball, it goes out of bounds. They'll set it up for Murray, but again, he sends it a little too far. And the Flyers with a little bit of early momentum. First set, really one of the most important sets you can win. Gets off to a fast momentum. You see Shaman, they had a bit of a slow start in their game versus Holy Trinity. They were down a few in the first set, came back to win. Trying to rewrite some wrongdoings. Schmitz, Puglisi for Exarhos. And it once again just passed the back line, and it's 5-2 Flyers. No, it was a tip. It'll be Kellenberg point. Kellenberg doing the right things. They're going to their game plan. They're looking for those outside hitters. And that time they got lucky with the fingertip, but maybe a little less power, a little more accuracy, and they can try to tuck that inside that back line. Apologies, folks. A little hard to see the tips from up here. Flyers will go with an attack. Renda will have to get it over on his third, but he sends it way too far, and the game is tied. Really get the back pass there. You want to get the forward, you want to get Momenta. Back pass is on the back foot. That's what Rennish has to do there, does the best he can, but sends it way past the back line. Here's Schmidt once again. Jacob will set it up. Reese goes to the tap, but defended very well. And it was number 12, Connor Sanders in the middle for the Firebirds. Yeah, Connor Sanders, he's gonna have to have a big day against a guy like Brady Reese, a guy who's so powerful, one of the best players in the league. Kellenberg's blockers have got to come up big today, especially against those Shavnot spikers. Firebirds take the lead. Carboy gets it over on the third. Now here go the Firebirds. That gun goes a little far out of bounds, 
That was Puglisi who tried to spike that, but it was inaccurate. Set right in the middle, Puglisi didn't really have a nice, good running start. Trying to get as much power as he can, but hit a little too long uh, near the shot on that bench. Here goes Kellenberg, it'll be Exarhos. Perfectly placed, up high and down hard. I mean, nothing you could do there. That's power, Pogisi, Exaros with authority right in the perfect sweet spot. What a hit there from Ryan Exaros. So the Firebirds with a 6-5 lead here in the first set. Guido will set it up. It'll be O'Connor who per, per, play, excuse me, places it perfectly just inside the near sideline. Takes a little bit of power off that spike, goes for accuracy and places it perfectly. A little bit of top spin as well, so a great kill there for Tim O'Connor, a guy that Shaman needs to have a big game today. O'Connor with the dig on the other side, Reese bumps it over. Here come the Firebirds, it'll be Exarhos with a two-handed tap and a nice dig by rail. Here goes Carboy now. But that dig goes way out of bounds, and it's going to be Carboy with the kill for the Flyers. Nice back and forth sequence, good rally from the two teams. That time Carboy goes cross court, gets that Kellenberg defender a little disjointed, and goes out of bounds. O'Connor serves again. He'll get it up for Exarhos. It's blocked. What a play by Reese. Exarhos taps it back over. Excuse me, that was number eight. That was Puglisi. What an effort from him. Smart by Pogisi, gets his original shot, spike, attempt blocked. Goes right back to him, he's got enough time to realize what's going on and just finds the perfect little tip over the net, puts it in the perfect spot. All tied up here at seven. O'Connor to Guido, to Reese with the kill, but nice dig by Galanga. Now on the other side, Tagios, and that one, the block will go out of bounds and it is Kellenberg point. That starts with Charles Galanga, a great dig on the spike from Reese, and then Todd Joes finishes it off, off the hands of the Chaminade blockers. Kellenberg with a one point lead. Guido will get it to Shaw, Shaw goes with the spike, but a nice dig. And Reese up top with the tap, taps it down, wins the battle, and ties the game for the Flyers. That's one thing that head coach Sal Trent Acosta told us before the Holy Trinity game, is that their blockers need to get up and over the net and not just straight up so they can get that downward motion. They saw Reese does it to perfection, puts it right down, no chance for Kellenberg to try to take that ball out. That was one of the things Coach Tretikos emphasized earlier there, as that's an unforced error from Reese, unable to get it over on the serve. And in, those championship, in these championship games, those are mistakes you can't afford to make. Kellenberg will have serving rights now. And they give it right back as Sanders sends it past the back line. I think one thing we don't mention in volleyball is how important your bench is, especially for callouts. Rail, he was 50-50 on looking to maybe try to receive and dig that ball. His bench tell him, no, 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 back up, get away from that thing. Rail makes the right decision. You got to give credit to that Chaminade bench being vocal. Both teams being vocal early on, especially during the serves and here right now with that Kellenberg bench. Jacob will serve, Galango with the dig. They'll set it up, the tap, defended well by Prince. Now Tagios on the far side, defended well again, but the block goes out of bounds, and Kellenberg gets the point. Prince thought he got that on the line. It was a good block by him, does everything right, just goes out of bounds, not much he could do there. Kellenberg with that one point lead. Seen a lot of those tightly contested plays at the net. Rail with a nice dig. Flyers have to get it over on the third, and they do. Now Kellenberg scrambling. The spike, what a dig from McCurley. Unbelievable. Prince, and another dig by Galanga on the other side. Now Tagios with the tap, and it's gonna go out of bounds, just out of bounds. A hard-earned win on the rally there for the Flyers. Headlined by, that, by the insane dig there by McCurley. I mean, doesn't really get much better than that. A great spike there. Looked like it might be from Tajos or Murray, and then Colton McCurley, a great dig. Only a sophomore, but has proven why he belongs on this varsity starting lineup. Nice dig again by Galanga. O'Connor at the net. Nice defend by 
Puglisi now. Tajos again. What a save by Carboy. But they call the whistle. It'll be shot on point, a violation on the Firebird. So another hard earned point for the Flyers. And a shout out there to Renda and Rayo, who was able to save that ball. It was a violation on Kellenberg. Now a one point lead for the Flyers. So Carboy will serve once again. Nice dig by Murray. They'll set it up. Murray will go for the spike, but it goes out of bounds. Carboy's got some whip on that serve. It's low and fast, which something you don't see. A lot of guys try to go for the spin and high now. Carboy does the old fashioned way, low and fast, as I mentioned. Murray spike again, just a little too long. 12 10 Flyers in the first set. Carboy once again. Galanga, Puglisi. And it will be Pinto. Looked like he may have gotten away with, the, with a bit of a hand spike almost. Yeah, he got away with the violation. My bad for interrupting. He kind of got, he did get a little lucky. Looked like it was around the palm. Doesn't get called. Hey, if it doesn't get called, it means you, means technically you didn't do it. So, Kellenberg, they'll take everything they get. One point lead for Shaman on Kellenberg now with the serving rights. Rail to Jacob. It will be Renda. Tucks that one in there in the back right corner of the Kellenberg zone. Perfect setup by Jacob and a perfect kill there by Ronald Renda right between the Kellenberg blockers and right in between the Libera and Bargellini. A great spike there from Ronald Renda. Rail serves. Schmidt to Puglisi. It will be Murray with the two hit tap. What a play by O'Connor, but the Firebirds save it and get it over on the third. And it will go just out of bounds. Exarhos touched it. He hit it a little too far, a little too hard. And Kellenberg will call the first time out of the game as the Flyers with early momentum up three. All the noise coming from Shamanad. Exarhos, Kellenberg thought they got that ball in. It was really tight. The call from the official had eyes on it all the way through. So now a three point lead for Shamanad. And they've done a good job so far containing the spikes of Kellenberg, you know, Murray and Murray's been missing a few, but he's still, you know, a deadly player that you gotta watch. And again, they're doing a good job containing Sanders, Bogisi, they're really the seniors, the leaders of this team. And they're getting their guys early on. Brenda and O'Connor have definitely been producing, but Curly has been great at digging the ball, setting up their guys. Jacob, again, as you mentioned, a perfect set there for Ronald Renda. And Brady Reese, we haven't really talked about him much, hasn't really gotten going, but this shot on that team's rolling without him really catching on fire, but you know it's gonna eventually come that he's gonna start getting a few kills, and then that's when the momentum could start coming for Shabanad. Both teams, both of these teams very deep. So contributors can come from almost anywhere. It's the Flyers up three here in the first set. Rail will serve. Schmidt with an inadvertent bump. Murray with a nice save, and they'll get it over on the third. Now here go the Flyers. It will be O'Connor with the spike. What a dig by Bargellini over there. Now Murray, Jacob with the dig. They're going back and forth here. It'll be Rendo with the spike and Puglisi with the dig. Kellenberg will get it over on the third. Here go the Flyers. Renda goes again, the block goes out of bounds and Chaminade wins the rally. Again, another great rally. Again, it's Jacob to Renda. Blocked by Kellenberg. Number seven, Thomas Pinto. We got the hand on that, but does enough just to get it out of bounds, so point goes to the Flyers. Exarhos has it blocked. Tandem effort there, looked like it was Reese. Brady Reese using his tall frame to get up there. Chaminade starting now fast this game, up to a 5-0 lead, their biggest lead of this game. And they don't look to be slowing down anytime soon, especially with Rail as a server. They'll set it up for Murray. And he gets that, he gets the spike. Spikes it right down onto the court. And it's a... Is this is there something called the announcer's shake? I mean, I, th I say they're rolling, and then Murray shuts that right down, puts it perfectly on the line, gets the call. Great eye ah, again from the official, had that all the way through. Kellenberg gets a much needed point, and they get another one right there. O'Connor not able to get the bump high enough for Jacob. Firebirds with two crucial points to get themselves back in it here. 
Still 16-13 Flyers. Jacob will set it up for Reese, goes to the kill, but a nice block, and Kellenberg will recover. It'll be Murray with the spike, and that one's gonna hit the antenna, and it'll be Shaman on point. Good block originally from Sanders and Murray on, on Reese, and then it was the, another spike from Murray, and again, Shaman did a really good job containing those outside shots, and again, that's something Coach Heidner mentioned that Kellenberg really struggled with a, a little bit in their games against Shaman that they need to improve. Shamanad has learned from their mistakes after those last two losses. Doing a good job so far. Nice dig by Bargellini and a nice save for Puglisi. They get it over on the third. Jacob will set it up. It will be O'Connor who taps it over. A little bit of miscommunication there by the Flyers. Now it's Zarhos, and he cannot get it over the net. Hits it right into the net, and it's another Flyer point. One thing Shamanad's been able to do so far is they've been able to correct their mistakes right away. You saw that miscommunication from O'Connor and Reese, they get it right back with the double block. And now it's a, another five point lead, 18 to three. Shamanad is a few points away from taking that first set. Schmidt goes down low to get that one. Now Murray with the spike and he perf places it perfectly right in the middle. Nobody there for the Flyers. Yeah, sometimes all that communication with the defense, Murray takes advantage of the miscommunication or lack of communication, I should say. Again, doesn't really go for power, but he goes for accuracy, he doesn't even jump on that spike attempt. And no, that's, it's a kill on the stat sheet for Murray. Mistake there as the serve goes too far. And Chaminade re-extends their lead to five here in this first set. Definitely what you don't want to do, especially after getting a much needed point. You don't want to especially give up an errant an er mistake like a serve like that. Exarhos goes to the two-hand touch, defended well by Rail. And now Carboy on the near side. Nice dig by Schmick. Can Kellerberg get it over? They can. Now Guido will set it up. It will be the touch from Carboy, but a nice play by Murray. Defended well again on the line. It will be Kellenberg point just out of bounds. I mean, that's a hard rally there, and Kellenberg comes away with the point. I mean, that starts with that incredible dig, really a one-handed dig there by Schmidt. All goes a little bit back and forth on the rally, and then it's just a block from Carboy that he thought he got in bounds, but just outside that line. So again, they must need a point for Kellenberg. They gotta stop, they're making a little too many mental mistakes right now, not as loose as Chauvinat has been, a little too tight. But again, the number one seed for the reason they beat this team twice, they know how to break this Chauvinat team. Reese, the spike goes out of bounds on the far side. So Kellenberg back within three in the first set. Galanga will serve now for the Firebirds. Guido sets it up. Reese will try again. Up high and down hard for Brady Reese. Reese does such a good job of generating so much downward force. Doesn't really go diagonal. It kind of just goes almost straight down. That's a little bit of loft on that, but it puts him right in the spot where it's impossible for Schmidt to dive and try to save it. Reese will serve. Puglisi gets it up for Tagios. And he misfires just out of bounds on the near side. And Chaminad within four points of taking the first set. Kellenberg's a little too powerful. They're really going for that power, trying to get it down. Trying to make a Chaminad mistake. But Chaminad's been very disciplined so far, haven't made too many mistakes. That's why they're up five right now. And Chaminad wins the point there as Sanders spikes it right into the net. And the Flyers up six now, and Kellenberg's calling another timeout. It may have been the Carboy as well. We got to look at that Sanders spike. But nonetheless, now a six point lead for Chaminade. Kellenberg takes their second timeout of the set. And as I mentioned, Chaminade's rolling right now. Everyone has been contributing for these Flyers. Again, Reese hasn't really gotten going, but you can see the impact he makes when he gets those chances for a kill. Carboy has been amazing. Renda has been amazing. Rail has been incredible. Eyes of Libero. So Chaminade, they got a long way to go. Again, Kelberg has the formula to beat this team. But they got to figure it out fast. Otherwise, Chaminade, you know, they're firing all cylinders right now. And it's definitely what Coach Heiden is doing. Again, they try to implement a new combination offense. Chaminade's done a good job of playing some defense. So maybe, maybe you try to go back to what was working before. But if there's one thing about this Kellenberg team, they definitely don't give up. This is nothing for them. They were 
Again, they face a ton of adversity in that St. John the Baptist game, especially in that second set. So now you kind of just transfer it over to the first set, and it's almost the same. It's going to be interesting to see how they respond, especially at taking a second timeout in the first set. Flyers up six and within four of a first set victory. Reese with the serve. They'll set it up for Tagios on the far side. A great dig by Reese, but it goes way out of bounds into the near bleachers. And Kellenberg, right out of the timeout, gets a point. You know, Grace, Reese, you can say he's a little late on that, but not much you can do. A great kill there from Michael Tagios. Puts in the perfect spot. Reese can't really get it fast enough. And it's a point for the Firebirds. Guido will set it up for Shaw, but he slams it into the net. And Kellenberg out of the timeout with two now. Big time block there from Thomas Pinto on Christian Shaw. Christian Shaw looking to go cross court. Pinto says, nah, ah, uh, ah. Uh, rejects that and gets another much needed point for Kellenberg. Flyers still lead by four. Guido will set it up again. It will be Shaw on the far side. Lands that one in the middle. And it's a big point for the Flyers. Great setup by, by Guido. And then it's, it's Christian Shaw. Gets it between the fingertips of Connor Sanders. Enough power to get it through. And now Shaw got two points away from taking an all important first set. Nick Jacob will serve now for the Flyers. Galanga bumps it up. Puglisi sets it. It'll be Tagios on the far side. Hits the net. And it will be Shamanov point. Well, Renda has been playing incredible today. He's really been the Chaminade's best player in this first set, doing it all from his serves to his spikes. And now, as you see there with his blocking, he's been everywhere. Chaminade with set point, but you see Jacob just a little miss it there on that serve. So Kellenberg will get serving rights back after Jacob leaves it short on the serve. Puglisi will serve for the Firebirds. Down five, rail to Jacob, and it will be Carboy. Schmidt hustles after, nice play by him. And they get it over on the third, but it goes out of bounds. Murray sends it out of bounds, and the Flyers take the first set of the finals. They win this one 25-19. That's important. Only the 10th game, or 10th set, I should say, that Kellenberg has lost all this year. And that's a big time win for Shamanad. You always want to get that first set. You always want to start this game with the momentum. And Chaminade does right that on the back of the performances of guys like Renda and O'Connor. So after one in the NSCHSAA Volleyball Finals, Chaminade wins the first set 25-19 and they lead it 1-0. We'll be back from Adelphi right after this. Trusted. Proven. Excellence. Over 20 years of professional sports video production. The industry standard. TND Sports Video Production. Whether it's a single game, a whole season, or a college recruitment video. TND Sports is your one-stop video solution. TND Sports Video Productions. All sports, all levels, all the time. Experience, trusted, proven, excellence. Over 20 years of professional sports video production, the industry standard, TND Sports Video Production. Whether it's a single game, a whole season, or a college recruitment video, TND Sports is your one-stop video solution. T 
AT&T Sports Video Productions. All sports, all levels, all the time. Welcome back to Adelphi University for set number two of the NSCHSAA Volleyball Championship Finals. I am Roman Brunetti alongside Connor Kuntz and Connor. We saw Chaminade take the first set 25-19 and that just looked pretty dominant in that one. I mean, the role, and there's not much you can say. Everyone has been contributing for this Flyers team. Not many mistakes, they're playing loose, they're playing with a little bit of a chip on their shoulder, but they're having fun as well and that's why They've been able to rally off a few hot streaks. You saw five, five rallies, hot streaks, six rally hot streaks. They've done a good job so far of containing those outside hitters. Murray hasn't really had a major impact yet for Kellenberg. He's one guy that Kellenberg needs to have a big game if they want to win this title game. So, you know, Chaminade's doing everything right so far. Kellenberg hasn't made, Kellenberg's right there though. They're kind of, you know, just a little bit behind, but if they can get some, some of those spikes to go their way, not a little too long like they've been, I mean, they can beat anyone, really, on the island. Shaman will have to get it over on the third, and they do. Now Kellenberg will get an attack going. It will be Murray with the two-handed touch and a little bit of miscommunication as that one falls in the middle. I mean, as cool as you like there from Ethan Murray. Doesn't go for power at all. Literally no power, but just enough. Perfect touch right in the heart of that Shaman defense. Perfect placement, a perfect start for Kellenberg. Diving play by McCurley there. Now Tajos on the far side, and Rail gets down for that one. And he gets up and gets it over on the third. Great effort by Pat Rail there for the Flyers. Now Tajos will try again. What a block from Shaw, and it'll be Chaminade point. How about that? McCurley and Guido, great save, especially with Rail too. I can't forget about him. And then it's Christian Shaw using that tall, using that length to get that block. And again, Every point's much needed, especially in a title game, but a big after a big rally like that, we'd love to come away with a point. So 1-1 one, one here in set two. Nick Jacob with the serve. Schmidt to Puglisi. It'll be Murray on the far side. Another great save by the Flyers. Rail gets it over on the third. Now Puglisi will set up Murray again, and this time it falls. And Murray wins the point for Kellenberg. That's been the formula all year. Get one of your back, backside guys for the dig. Get Pogisi for the setup, and then you give it to Murray who can hammer it from downtown. He does so right there. Too much power for Prince and Renda to handle. And just like that, Kellenberg takes the lead right back. Borgelini will serve for Kellenberg now. And it's going to be a violation on McCurley. And Kellenberg goes up 3-1. Yeah, sort of a push. He went for the set instead of a dig. And just got a little bit too underneath, a little too forward really with the push. McCurley with the bump, Jacob with the set, Carboy with the spike, and it's blocked, but it goes out of bounds off of Kellenberg. Pinto got up there, but he blocked it out of bounds, and it's 3-2. Yeah, Thomas Pinto, he's done a good job today reading those spikes, really getting some of those blocks. He's been getting a little unlucky with them going out of bounds. Carboy with the serve. Schmidt goes down, but it's an ace. Carboy. That is nasty there from Bobby Carboy. A lot of topspin perfectly in front. Schmidt's got to die for that, but he had no chance. The first ace of this game belongs to Bobby Carboy. Three all here in set two. Carboy will serve once again. Flips it up in the air, sends it over. Schmidt blocks, or excuse me, digs that one. It'll be Exarhos on the far side, but a nice dig by Jacob. And play is stopped. It will be Kellenberg point. See if a flyer is called for a violation. Jacob was looking. Did a pretty good dig there. It's not much you can do with the violation called against Flyers. So now Schmidt will serve for Kellenberg, but he serves it into the net. And it's 4-4. You can really say that Kellenberg is beating themselves right now. Too many mistakes again. Balls not landing in the zone, in the, uh, in the inbounds. Serves going into the net. Uh, they can clean up those mistakes. They'll be just okay in this game. Kellenberg able to save it there on the third. Shaman will go with the attack here. Renda, nice play by Schmidt though. 
Murray with the spike. A nice dig by Carboy. The spike again from Exarhos. I mean, not much that Carboy can do. A great dig. It just goes perfectly to Ryan Exarhos. No one's covering that back far corner. And he placed it perfectly with the right amount of power, too. Gives Kellenberg the lead. Rendo will go with the spike, and it goes off of Exarhos this time out of bounds. And it's 5 all. Right back at you, says Ronald Renda. This time he hits it again. Off that Exaros goes out of bounds. Again, even if it's just a little spin, try to get off that left hand, that outside hand. You know, it's a lot of, a lot of mind games, really. Mental games when you're playing volleyball. Great save by Kellenberg, but it's a point on Chaminade, a violation. And Chaminade takes the 6-5 advantage. Great hustle there from Christopher Pogisi. Running for that ball. Fortunately, it was really the Sanders that was called for that push on the ball. Violation. Point goes to the Chaminade. Renda serves it into the net. And Kellenberg will get it right back. And he had the power. He tried to go low and powerful. One of the hardest serves to try to dig out. Just goes a little too low with that serve. Hits that netting. All tied up in the second set. A much needed second set. Shamra looking to go two up in set. Shamra Kellenberg, my apologies, looking to tie it up. Galanga will serve for Kellenberg. Guido will set it up for O'Connor. And a nice dig by Murray. And now the tap. Nice play by Shamanad Shaw. Now Carboy with the spike and the kill. Great job from Carboy. Once again, we've been saying his name a lot. Puts it right in the middle of the hand of Pogisi. Pogisi does a good job, goes straight up, but doesn't get enough downward force on it. Goes off his hands and stays on Kellenberg's side. Chama will get up and attack here. Reese goes for the kill, but goes out of bounds. Again, Reese hasn't really gotten going yet, but you know, a good setup by Grido. And then Reese, you see, he's looking for that top hand, looking to get it down and low. Just gets it really off the fingertips and top of the palm, and it goes out of bounds. Rail to Guido, it will be Carboy, and a nice block by Puglisi, and his teammates get him hype. Picture perfect block there. By Pogisi, Carboy, we're looking for it. Look at that, the height of Christopher Pogisi. Gets it off the fingertips and gets it down. No chance for Shaw not to recover after that. Sanders will serve for Kellenberg. Guido will set it up for Reese. He'll go for the kill. And an outstanding save, but to no avail. Sanders got on the floor for that one. And Reese is a little too powerful there for Kellenberg to contain. That's the one thing, again, Reese, he's a powerful guy. Those, those spikes are lethal, especially if he's got room and a good running start to get that height up in the air. Reese will serve. They'll set it up. McCurley with the dig. Now Guido will set it up. It's going to be a violation on Guido, and Kellenberg regains the lead in this set. Well, if you're Kellenberg, you kind of need to play into that Chaminade game. Let them make the mistakes, really. Kellenberg's been the one who's been making the mental mistakes. Ball's going too long. Ball's going to the net. And they can, again, rewrite, reposition some of those mistakes. I mean, again, they're the number one seed in the, for a reason. Kellenberg will get it over on the third. Nice dig by McCurley. Guido hustles after it, and Rail gets it over on the third. Puglisi will set it up for Murray. A great dig by Guido. Shaw taps it over, and it's going to be Shabanov point. I mean, a Murray spike leads to a great dig by Guido and then Shaw, again using that length of pace, that little tip over, gets the right amount of accuracy, a diving attempt by Schmidt it seemed, came to no avail, and now it's 9-9, all tied up here in the second set. 9-9, Schmidt to Puglisi, and it'll be Tagios, nice block, but Kellenberg will reset. Murray gets it over on the third, nice play by McCurley. Kellenberg will reset on the other side. Murray will try again. Nice block by Prince. Now Shaman will get an opportunity. Carboy the tap. Nice play by Murray. They'll go again. And Prince gets up there for the kill. Starts with Prince and ends with Prince. A great block originally from Prince. 
And then he ends it again. It's just a nice love tap. Sometimes that's all you need is a little tap over the net. You know, do your favors again. Kellenberg not able to get there in time, not able to recover. Now it's a 10 9 lead for the Flyers. Kellenberg will have to get it over on the third, and they do. Jacob will set it up to Carway. He'll go for the spike. Next play by Schmidt. Now Murray the spike and the kill. Kellenberg ties it at 10. Perfect spike for Murray and gets enough power. He doesn't really have the running start, but you see enough power to get gets Jacob off his feet even. So just go show how powerful some of these spikes are, especially for the guy like Ethan Murray. Barzellini will serve. Jacob will set it. Carboy has to go back to get it. But Barzellini cannot recover on the dig. A little, little bit out of position. And Carboy will get the point for the Flyers. Yeah, that's a little too far back. It was Carboy. And then it goes right to Barzellini. Barzellini not able to get it in time. And then just an all around mess from Kallenberg, at least for Chaminade Point. Flyers lead 11 10. Contest at the net. Shalana will recover. O'Connor will go for the kill, but he sends it outside past the back line, and Kellenberg ties that 11. Well, you can see what O'Connor was trying to do. Trying to do what kind of Murray was doing on Murray's last kill. It didn't really have a running start. He was just trying to go for power. Again, he kind of got that top edge of that paw, so that goes far on back. Goes out of bounds. And again, all tied up here. Back and forth, these teams have been going in terms of scores. O'Connor goes for the two-hand touch. Now Kellenberg will coordinate an attack. Murray goes for the spike. Nice dig by Carboy, but it's going to go out of bounds. A bit of miscommunication between Renda and Jacob, and Kellenberg regains the lead. Good dig from Carboy there. As, as great as you like, perfect setup. Problem was, again, it's a lack of communication. communication. No one was there. It just drops right in front of two Chaminade players, and not what you want to see, especially in a title game. Renda will go with the two-hand touch. Puglisi will go with the tap. Diving play by O'Connor, but the tap down is true from Sanders. And Kellenberg is up two, and Coach Dubon will take the first time out of the set for the Flyers. Great dive by O'Connor, but Sanders is right there to meet him. They is one of the bigger leads, just see only two points, but it is, top, it is 13 to 11 to Kellenberg. And one of the things they've done a lot better in the second set is they limited their mistakes. They've been able to get that ball in bounds a lot more. Murray's starting to heat up a little bit more. He's got a few kills to his name in this set. And Shamla, they kind of cooled off a little bit. So they've been doing good. Again, it's really been back and forth. Really can't say too much, too much negativity about either of these teams. There's a ton of positives to mention. You know, they're kind of neck and neck, really even, two even squads. And again, as I mentioned, we've mentioned this so many times, they're number one and number two for a reason. And they're really, it's Kellenberg, Chaminade, and then there's a big gap, really, between the other few squads in this Catholic League. So these two teams deserve to be in the finals. And it's gonna come down to a battle of wits. Who can, who's got enough in the tank, really, to last, which could be potentially a full five-set match. Brady Schmidt will serve for Kellenberg. Firebird's up two now in the second set. Rail to Jacob, and it will be O'Connor with the tap, but a nice play by Sanders. They get it over to the other side. Defended well by Shamanad. Renda will go for this kill, and it's gonna be Kellenberg point on that rally, and they go up by three. Sanders initially with the great block on O'Connor, and then it goes to Ronald Renda, and Renda gets his rejected by two Kellenberg blockers, so great sequence there from the blockers of Kellenberg. O'Connor will get another opportunity, and this time he slams that one home. I mean, that is picture perfect there from Tim O'Connor. It looked like it was kind of out from up here, but seeing it again, that was right on the line. Again, picture perfect. Nothing much, nothing else you really ask for from Tim O'Connor. Chaminade serving rights back, rail. And it's going to be a violation, going to be Chaminade point. And the Flyers are back within one. Reese using that IQ again. He's the senior. He's one of the captains of this team. So he uses that, that IQ. He knows that ball is going tipped. So he goes up early and puts it right down. Kellenberg's not able to recover. And they eventually get called for a violation. 
Kellenberg was a little out of position there. 14-13 Kellenberg, but Shaman on one set one. Here's Murray with the kill. Pure power from Ethan Murray, and Kellenberg goes back up by two. Murray does a great job, gets that spike, gets it in between Reese and O'Connor, so it kind of goes on an awkward angle, and it just gets inside that sideline. Jacob sets it up to Reese, but it's blocked by Puglisi. And no, it's gonna be Shawin on point. I mean, they can't believe it. That looked like a clean block from Puglisi on Brady Reese. Puglisi did everything right there. Don't really know what the violation was called for, but Chaminade, again, sometimes it's the little breaks that'll get you that far. What well, could have been a, th a three-point lead for Kellenberg, or two-point lead, excuse me, for Kellenberg, now turns into a one-point lead. Yeah, I completely agree with you, Connor. Looked like it was a clean point for Kellenberg. But Chaminade will get the point on a violation. Kellenberg still up one. Puglisi will go for the kill, and it goes off of Jacob out of bounds. So Kellenberg will get that point back, and they're up by two. Pogisi saying, ball don't lie. I'll go right back and get that point myself, he says. Off the fingertips, looks like of Ronald Renda. And it goes out of bounds. So a big point there for Christopher Pogisi after really what Kellenberg will call a robbery of a point. Shalman will say, that's just volleyball, that's just the game. Pogisi, again, one of the things you gotta do, especially in situations like that, and they did a good job, Kellenberg, there, just forget it. It's a, just put it in the back of your mind. Just forget about it. And they do a good job there getting that point right back. O'Connor goes for the kill. It hits the net and it drops down in front of the net. And Shamanon point. A little bit of luck there for O'Connor. But Shamanon back within one. You can see O'Connor was trying to go for a little cross court. He does get a little lucky getting that net. No one was there for Kellenberg. O'Connor will take it though. I mean, in a championship game, you won't complain about getting some of these breaks that some of these teams, that any team will get. Puglisi will get it up for Tadjos on the far side. And it's gonna go just out of bounds, just past the back right corner of the Chaminade zone. And the Flyers not the game up at 16. I think the one advantage that Chaminade's got is their awareness. They are really good at tracking balls and reading balls, especially when they're that close to the line. They know when to hit and they know when to leave it be. Murray goes for the kill and he tucks it in there just in front of the back line. Kellenberg goes back up by one. Perfect shot from Murray. Gets Rail off balance. Rail tries to dive to his right, but again, it's just picture perfect from Murray. Goes for accuracy over power and it works. Now Kellenberg up one in this second set. Connor Sanders will serve now for Kellenberg. Rail to Guido to Reese for the kill and it goes off of Tagios and out of bounds. So Reese uses his tall frame once again to get a point for the Flyers. I mean, it's almost scary how, how high Reese can get when he's going for a kill. I mean, he's, his neck is almost over the net. That's how high he's getting on some of these kills. Tagios goes for the tap, and it goes just out of the reach of Reese on the near side. And Kellenberg, back and forth, they go back up by one. Again, it's the perfect tap. Sometimes all you need, Taj Jones puts it in the sweet spot. Reese kind of second guessing himself there. Didn't know if he should leave it be or try to hit it. Goes to the first option, ultimately pays for it. Guido hustles over and make that nice play and get it over. Now on the other side, Tajios hits it into the net. Likely would have been blocked anyway as Prince and Shaw were both there. But the Flyers nodded back up at 18. Sometimes big plays can win you a game. That could be a, a play that we can look back on and say, maybe that's when they won the championship. Nick Guido, Nick Guido there. That could have been an easy point for Kellenberg, but he makes that hustle, puts it with his, with his, with his weak hand, his left hand, and then Kellenberg makes the mistake. They spike it into their own net, and Chaminade able to tie it up. Murray goes for the kill, just past the back line, and the Flyers back up 19 to 18. Yeah, Kellenberg, they're asking, they said that ball was tipped. By, it might have been Prince they're asking, or Colorboy, one of those blockers. Nonetheless, referees say it was not tipped, so it'll be a point for Shamanov. What a block there from Thomas Prince. I mean, the set from Pogisi, it's a good set, but it's a little behind, so it takes some of the power 
off of Tajios. Prince reads it right there, gets the block. And now Kellenberg will take their first timeout of the second set. And now a two point lead for Shamna. They got the momentum going. And that's how they really ended that first set. They got in a little bit of a hot streak towards the end and they kept the momentum throughout the set. So two point lead for Shamanad. And as I mentioned, all really, all cylinders have been firing for Shamanad. They've gotten some of their guys going. Reese has started to catch fire now. You can see the effect he has with those kills. Renda has been great. Carboy has been fantastic. Guido has been incredible with some of the saves and the digs he's making. So Shamanad, they're playing a full team game and you know, it's a reason why they're up a set to nil and they're looking to close out on the second set. And Connor, this is really a crucial set for the Firebirds. Can't get down 2-0 against Chaminade, a very fundamentally sound team. So Kellenberg's gonna have to come back here and it's gonna be essential for them to win this set. Yeah, last thing you wanna do is go down two sets to nil, especially in the title game. And you know, Kellenberg, they haven't done a bad job. They've done a good job of really now they played some good defense. Their blocks have been incredible. If they haven't gotten that outside hit really to go yet, once they get that rolling, watch out for the Firebirds. Murray goes for the kill, but a nice block and dig from Chavanad. Renda gets it over on the third. Now Schmidt has to get over for Kellenberg. A high tap from McCurley. Nice play by Prince. What a save by Galanga. And Kellenberg will reset. On the third, they get it over. Diving play by McCurley. The tap down from Murray and Kellenberg with a crucial win. Another great rally, the hit from number seven, Pinto. McCulley's got a dive for it, but he gets a little too much under it, so it goes over, and it's Murray right down. A little two-hand slam, just put it right down the sweet spot. Got nothing much Chaminade could do there. Now a one-point lead for the Flyers with the serving rights going to Bargellini and the Firebirds. So Kellenberg out of the timeout with a crucial victory. Can they tie it here? Jacob plays it off the net and Carboy gets it over. Can Kellenberg tie it here? It'll be Exarhos for the kill, out of bounds on the near side. Great IQ from Jacob there. He's seeing that ball kind of going 50-50. Should I touch it, should I not? He lets it hit the net first and then smartly goes back so he can get some little bit, one of his teammates gets a power on it. And then once again, it's a mistake from Kellenberg. A little too much on the spike attempt. Goes wide and out of bounds. Now Shamanad four points away from going up 2-0 in this title game. Nice dig by Bargellini. And it's going to be a violation on Kellenberg and Murray. And Shamanad up by three now within three points of taking the first two. Carboy will serve now for Chaminade. Nice dig by Schmidt. They'll get it to Exarhos on the far side. And it's going to be Chaminade point. Yeah, a great, another good serve by Spike. I should say, and again, I, gotta, I, I can't forget the serves from Carboy. He can go fast and low, or he can go and put an insane amount of topspin. Exaro's going for the serve, but again, it's another violation against Kallenberg. Too many violations. They've been losing some points off these violations. Murray will go for the kill, but he hits it into the net. And the Flyers on a bit of a run here, and they're within one point of Murray. taking the first two sets against the top seeded Firebirds. Murray a little far back, so O'Connor does a smart play. Doesn't go up and down, he goes straight up. And he gets enough of a piece of it to send it back. And now it's set point for the Flyers. Here's the serve from Carboy. Nice dig by Schmidt. Puglisi will set it up. Exarhos with the tap, and it's going to land just out of the reach of Jacob, and Kellenberg stays alive in the second set. You see Schmidt in the huddle one at a time, one at a time. They're only down four, and they have a serving right, so they got some momentum. They can get some momentum here, especially if they get these first serve in. But again, Shaba, they're, they're a point away from taking a commanding 2-0 lead in sets. Jacob will set it up for O'Connor, but that goes into the net, and Murray was there anyway, and Kellenberg with two points now, they're within three. Yeah, O'Connor, he was really looking for the power there, looking for it. He hits it right in the net, but if that was a little bit higher, Murray would have sent that back anyway, so much needed point for Kellenberg now, only down by three with the serving rights. 
O'Connor to Jacob. It will be back to O'Connor. And it goes off of Murray. O'Connor with the kill. And Chaminade takes the first two sets. And they're in control here in the championship match. O'Connor makes up for the mistake. This time gets it high. It's off the hand. It's off really the forearm of Murray. So it goes out of bounds. And Chaminade a commanding 2 nothing lead on set. And they are one set away from winning their fourth straight league title. So after two sets from Adelphi University, Chaminade has taken the first two, both by 25-19 scores. We'll be back for the third set after this. Experience. Trusted. Proven. Excellence. Over 20 years of professional sports video production. The industry standard. TND Sports Video Production. Whether it's a single game, a whole season, or a college recruitment video, TND Sports is your one stop video solution. TND Sports Video Production. All sports, all levels, all the time. Experience. Trusted. Proven. Excellence. Over 20 years of professional sports video production. The industry standard. TND Sports Video Production. Whether it's a single game, a whole season, or a college recruitment video, TND Sports is your one stop video solution. TND Sports Video Productions. All sports, all levels, all the time. Welcome back to Adelphi University for the third set of the Catholic League Volleyball Finals between Chaminade and Kellenberg. Chaminade has taken the first two sets bit of a shocking development here as Kallenberg now down to their last last legs here I am Roman Brunetti alongside Connor Kuntz and Connor Chauna is really taking control through these first two sets I mean you say shocking but if you've been watching this game this has not been shocking although this is the really the best that Chaminade has played all season long and helps that it's in the biggest game of the year in the championship game they begin their kills, they begin their digs right. A leader, Tim O'Connor, and Kristen Chong, we haven't mentioned, but using his length and his, his size to his advantage, both with five kills each. And the flip side for Kellenberg, Ethan Murray, and Christopher Pogisi with five serves each. So the seniors really have been leading for Kellenberg, while through the juniors that have been providing for Chaminade. So Nick Jacob will get the third set underway. Kellenberg needs to win this to stay alive. Murray gets it over on the third. McCurley bumps it up. Now Jacob and Carboy for the kill. And it tucks it just inside in front of the back line on the Kellenberg zone. And Chaminade strikes first in the third set. One thing you don't want to do is you don't want to get too overzealous. Big time win in that last set. 2-0. You're up 2-0. Kind of got to go back down to earth. Carboy's able to start to slighten those nerves a little bit. Puts it perfectly inside. Always important to get that first point in the set. Jacob will set it up for Carboy. He'll go again with the tap. A nice play by Murray. They'll get it up for Exarhos. He'll go with the tap. And it's going to be just out of bounds outside of the bat on the far sideline on the other side. And Shaman up 2-0 in the third set. 
Chaminade's defense, especially on the outside hitters, have been the reason why they've been producing on the offense. Again, it's a little bit of a mistake from Kellenberg, but still, it's great defense from Chaminade there, though. Exaro is able to get a little outside hit. Crucial point there for Kellenberg as Exarhos comes through with the kill just in front of the outstretched dive of Colton McCurley. So it's 2-1 now. Jacob will set it up for Carboy on the far side with the kill. And Puglisi cannot handle the pure power from Bobby Carboy. Talk about power, you say, look at that replay. Off the hands of Puglisi, I mean, I mean really off the forearms, I should say. But there's nothing you can really do there. You gotta get in a perfect position and just hope you can get it high enough for someone to set it. Carboy able to get Pogisi a little off balance again. There's not much Pogisi could do when Carboy's got all that power behind him. Kellenberg out of bounds. Pinto hits it a little too far. And Chaminade striking on all cylinders early in the third set, looking to put it away early. I mean, they, the are, sweep. they are laser focused right now. Carboy has been dialed in from the start. And you can see, even a serve could affect it that much. Bargellini had a tough time digging there. He had a tough time, he had to go on the ground to dig it. Exarhos comes through again with another crucial point as Shaman with a little bit of miscommunication in front of the net. Yeah, he kind of got Prince off, off guard there. Exarhos, he likes to go kind of just straight ahead. This time he kind of goes a little cross court towards the middle near the logo of where the basketball court would be. Prince, a little discombobulated there, couldn't really get to that ball. Renda goes for the kill. What a dig by Schmidt. And Tagios gets it over on the third. Now Jacob will set it up. O'Connor with the tap. He'll, Kellenberg will reset. Now Puglisi with the spike. Nice play by Jacob with the dig. O'Connor with the tap. Once again, a diving play by Tagios. But it's a violation. And it will be shoving on point. Tim O'Connor, he's been a great up net front presence today for Chaminade. Again, it's not even the, sometimes it's just the little task that work. Just hits it with his left hand just enough. Kellenberg can't recover in time. And now a three point lead for the Flyers. Tajios on the far side. What a play by O'Connor. And Carboy hustles back to get it. O'Connor gets it over on the third. Kellenberg will reset. And it's going to be Shamanot point once again as Murray went over the net. And Chaminade extends their lead to four, it's six to two. And that starts with Tim O'Connor getting that dig on Tajios. And then after that, again, it's, it's Kellenberg that's getting those violations. These violations have been crucial for Kellenberg in losing some of these points. But how about that from Michael Tajios? Big kill there from Michael Tajios with the pure power on the far side. And Kellenberg sticking around here. Tajios leads the team in hit percentage at 40.7%. O'Connor to Jacob. Reese goes for the kill, but a nice block and a dig. Kellenberg will get it over. Shamanad will recover. Carboy will hit it over on the third. Puglisi will set up his teammate Tajos with the tap, but it goes out of bounds. And Shamanad wins the rally. And then you can see Kellenberg. They're relying on tips, and they got the point there as it was tipped. You can see Tajos, and that ball was tipped. And he gets it there. again. Tajos, only a sophomore, so as we mentioned in the pregame, a very young Flyers, a very young Firebird team, excuse me, but a very talented team as Tajos. Even this game he's producing, he'll definitely produce in the near in the future for Kellenberg. So 6-4 is the score now. Reese with the tap, but what a play by Connor Sanders going up there high and sending that one back, and it's a one-point game. Sanders sa staring down Reese there, sends that ball right back. And they, again, Kellenberg, they seem like they were down after Shamanad's going on a hot streak, but they're right back in the set. O'Connor with a spike, but a nice dig by Schmidt. Now Murray with the tap, rails there. Back to the other side, Renda, a nice block by Sanders again. Shamanad recovers, and miscommunication between Reese and Carboy. Kellenberg has come back from four to tie the score, and Coach Dubon wants a timeout. They were down 6-3 at one point, even down as much as four, but they stormed right back. Kellenberg 
getting some of that momentum, and sometimes that's all you need is just a little momentum. Get your guys going. You can see Smith there. He's fired up. Sanders is fired up. Tagios is fired up. And they've been, again, in the set, they've been producing. It's been an all-around team effort. They've got a little, some few breaks as Shamanad has made a couple of mental mistakes, a really lack of communication on really two of those points. But again, you take all those you can, especially when you're down two sets to you nil know, and you're in a title game, when you're looking for your first championship in a few years, trying to break, trying to knock Shamanad off the top of that mountain. They've had it for four years straight, or three years straight, my apologies, still on top of that mountain. But, you know, Kelmer, they've done a good job getting momentum back in this set now. Can they keep that momentum and go on a little bit of a streak to gain a big lead? So Kellenberg knots the score at six here in the third set. Schmidt will serve. Jacob will set up. O'Connor gets to back off and just get it over. Now Tajos on the far side, blocked by Redna, but it goes into the far bleachers on the other side, and Kellenberg has a 5-0 run. Not much that Renda can do. Tajos just hits it off the form of Renda. Renda sends it back, but it goes into the bleachers. A point for Kellenberg. Jacob will set up O'Connor on the near side, but it is blocked by Ethan Murray with the fundamentals, and Kellenberg with six straight, and they're up by two. O'Connor looking just straight across the court, but Murray says, nah, ah, ah, and rejects it, sends it back. Now Kellenberg with a two-point lead. They'll set up Renda on the other side with the tip, but it goes out of bounds. Out just outside of the far sideline on the on the right in front of the scorer's table, excuse me. Now and the Kellenberg side, that's getting loud and rowdy. Big time play there, goes out of bounds. Again, sometimes it's all you need if you're the Firebirds. What a save by Schmidt. Tajos with the save, but the effort is to no avail as the ball will not make it over the net. And Shamanad strikes back with a point there, and it's 9-7. to seven. Would have been an all-time save from Tajos. If he was diving into his own bench to get that ball. But it seemed like it was not meant to be. Galanga couldn't get enough on that ball. So now Shamanad down by two, but they do have the serving rights. We've known and we've seen that they can go on these hot streaks and really take sets off a few hot streaks. Rail with the dig after the block. Shaw with the spike. And Galanga cannot handle that one. And Christian Shaw does it again. He's played very well today for Shamanad. And now it's Shaw doing a little bit to the Kellenberg team. You see Coach Heiner, he wants maybe a tech on Shaw. It's like, hey, I mean, what's he doing there? But you know, in a title game, especially in the playoffs, maybe you can let a, you let a little bit go. Again, it's a Marianist rivalry. These games are gonna get chippy, especially when it's a championship game. Murray spikes that one almost to the basketball sideline. And Shamanad has scored three straight to tie the game. Yeah, Murray really hasn't dialed in that serve yet. He hasn't really gotten one of those that you're like, damn, that's the Ethan Murray we know. Really been getting at the top of the palm a little bit and goes too long. But again, good job from Schmidt, however. Seeing that ball is going out of bounds and just let it go. Now it's Kellenberg with the serving rights up by one. So 10-9 Firebirds. Guido gets low, Reese with the kill. Able to recover after his spike is blocked. And miscommunication between Galanga and Schmidt. And Shamanad ties it back up at 10. One of the assistant coaches telling Kellenberg, guys, relax, you gotta breathe. Shamanad's playing loose. Kellenberg's so tight that they're making these miscommunications. They're playing, again, nerves can play a factor, but Shamanad's been in these situations before. They know how to handle these title game nerves. Shaw gets it over on the third for Shamanad. They'll set up Puglisi on the other side. That one is going to go to Shamanad. It's going to be a Shamanad point. And the Flyers go back up by a point. Now O'Connor will serve. Schmidt bumps it. Puglisi taps it over. Shamanad with defends it well, and now Carboy with the tap, Schmidt hustles over to get it. And guys scrumming all over the place here. Shamanad will get it over on the third with Carboy. Schmidt bumps it up. They'll set it up for Murray off the net, but it's defended well by Guido. And Reese will earn the point there, as Puglisi cannot send it back over. 
How about that dig from Guido? Gets down low, almost off the knuckles of Guido. Reese does enough to tip it over. And then it goes off the hands, and just Kelber can't send it back enough. Point goes to Chaminade. Sanders with the tap, but miscommunication by the Flyers as three guys went for one ball. And Kellenberg gets within one. Bargellini will serve for Kellenberg. McCurley with the bump. Guido the set, Reese the kill. How about that? Great dig from McCurley. Guido with the perfect set. And then Murray, almost like walking up a skyscraper, gets as high as he can and sends it down with authority. Sanders will go for the kill, but it goes out of bounds just outside of the back left corner of the Chaminade zone. And the Flyers now extend their lead to three. Sanders, he does everything right, just a little bit too far trying to tuck it into that back right corner. No one was really covering it. So again, it's just unlucky break so far for Firebirds. That's really cost them. And now that's why they're down 2-0. Carboy gets it over on the third. Now Sanders with the spike and a clutch kill there for Sanders. And he keeps Kellenberg within two. That's what you need. You kind of just need one of those spikes to get everything cooled down. Shamad. They want to play fast. They want to play off tempo. Kellenberg's got to slow this game down, try to stifle any energy, that momentum and adrenaline that Chaminade has. But that won't help, though. Tommy Prince with authority again. Three-point lead for the Flyers. So Prince with the kill there. I got to tell you, Prince and Brady Reese look like the exact same as Kellenberg's going to call a timeout as Chaminade re-extends their lead to three. And this is where, if you're not careful, if you're Kellenberg, they can go on one of those hot streaks and really pull away from this game. You gotta stay calm, you gotta stay collected. Try to get any butterflies you maybe have out of your system. Because you gotta lock in, down by three, 10 points away from their fourth straight league title as Chaminade. But Chaminade's been in this situation before, just last game. They were up 2-0 in sets. They had a pretty big lead against Holy Trinity. Then Holy Trinity came back and took all the adrenaline and the momentum. Chaminade was able to close it out. But Kellenberg, they've seen that, hey, Chaminade, they can kind of blow some leads. They've been known to blow leads. Just last game, as I mentioned, they blew a lead in the third set. So if there's ever a time to really play your best volleyball, it's got to be right now. Otherwise, they'll be going home and gets swept by Chaminade in, in this game. That's not what you want to do. And their formula hasn't been working. Maybe you try to change something, especially during that timeout. Kellenberg's got to dig in here. Jacob with the serve for Chaminade. Right, Carboy goes for the kill. It's a great block by Puglisi, and they'll give Kellenberg the point. I guess you mentioned a great block by DC, a violation on Chaminade. Now seven rights down by two. This is really where they need to get one of these hot streaks. McCurley dives for the dig. Jacob tries to get it over, but it, he mishits it. Got a little two on top of it. And Kellenberg with two points out of the timeout. Another great dig from McCurley off that serve from Bogisi. Just couldn't get it over with Jacob. So only down by one. Bogisi looking to start a hot streak for Kellenberg. Jacob hustles to get that one, and Rail gets over on the third. Murray goes for the spike. Nice play by Jacob. Rail sets it to Carboy. He goes with the tap, but it hits the antenna, and Kellenberg has tied the game. Kellenberg really has slowed down the game, which is what they need to do. That timeout definitely helps with momentum and pacing. And now they have the seven right still, and it's all tied up in the second set. And it's an ace for Chris Puglisi, who hits a bow and arrow celebration. Picture perfect right on that line. No chance really for Chaminade. Kind of in between Renda and McCurley. So Puglisi still with the seven rights, up by one. 
but he makes a crucial mistake there as he is unable to get it over the net. And that's happened too much. That's I can count three times or four times that's happened for Kellenberg today. That's three points going to Shabnod just off of miss hits on serves. So 16 all here in the third set. Carboy with the serve. They'll get it to Murray on the far side. It goes off of Renda out of bounds and Kellenberg gets the point. That's the Murray we've gotten to know during these playoffs. Gets to the outside and just too much power for Renda to, to handle. Big time point for Murray there. He's a guy again that needs to play his best volleyball if Kellenberg wants a chance to come back down two sets and steal a league title from Chaminade. Prince will go for the kill, but Galanga cannot handle it. And Thomas Prince, who's played a large role here in the third set with a couple of crucial kills. He ties the game for the Flyers. Chaminade inching closer to that fourth straight championship. Kellenberg looking to push it to a fourth set. Rail with the serve. They'll get it over on the third with Murray. Now Rail with the dig. They'll set up O'Connor on the near side. And it goes off of Pinto, out of bounds, and Chaminade retakes the lead. Timmy O'Connor, have yourself a game. Six kills so far. Gets another one there as it goes off the hands of Pinto. He's done a great job so far. He's really stepped up. Only, only a junior, so he's got a year left. But a big time player today for Chaminade. Tajos on the far side, a nice block by Reese, but a caroms back out of bounds. And back and forth, Kellenberg ties the game. You can tell from Tajos, he put all his energy and effort into that, that spike. Brady Reese with the block, but it goes out of bounds. Now it's all tied up with Kellenberg having the serving rights. Jacob will set up O'Connor for the kill, but a nice block by Ethan Murray as the Kellenberg bench Hits a celebration. Now they'll call over Puglisi. Yeah, they'll get a little talking too, but that's all right. Murray, you're in the moment. There's just a little motion. It's a little, look who I am. So, you know, he may get a warning, but, you know, it's all good. Chaminade won't mind that. And it's deserved after that block from Murray on Reese. Sends it right back. Murray's had Reese's number, especially in the upfront presence. Everyone else has been producing for Shabana today. Schmidt will serve rail. Jacob O'Connor goes back to get it. And it's a nice dig by Schmidt. Now Tajos with the tap. It goes off of Renda. And Kellenberg now up by two. Tajos again, it's not, a, it's not really a power. It's just a tap. But sometimes that's all you need off the fingertips of Renda. Goes out of bounds. Now five points away from getting a much a crucial set for Kellenberg. Jacob will set it up for Carboy coming from behind, but a nice dig by Schmidt. Puglisi hustles after it, and Sanders gets it over. Now Shamanad, O'Connor blocked, but they recover. Renda will try, dug by Galanga. Now Tagios with the kill for Kellenberg, and they're up by three. Now it's Kellenberg firing it also. No, Shamanad's gonna take a timeout. Michael Tagios coming up big in this third set for the Firebirds. So Kellenberg has responded from some early struggles. And they have a three point lead here in the third set. Do or die for the Firebirds trying to force a fourth set to keep their season going. Winner of this game will play in the intersectional championship. That will be Wednesday at the Chaminade Activity Athletic Center. And Iona Prep is waiting. Whoever wins this game, they carry a ton of momentum. Being the team that comes off a win, maybe don't get as much rest as the Gales do, but you're gonna have all that adrenaline, all that energy from beating your rivals. Shamnad, smart to take a timeout here. Again, now they're the ones who are trying to slow things down, and Kellenberg trying to keep that up upbeat tempo going. Kellenberg with the serving rights, they're up by three. Here's Schmidt. O'Connor will get it to Jacob. Now Reese will go for the kill, but a nice dig by Puglisi. Sin, uh, excuse me, Murray taps it over. 
Now Carboy from behind, nice play by Schmidt. Puglisi hustles after it. And a nice play by Tajos right in front of the scores table. Now O'Connor with the two-handed touch. Puglisi will send it over, but it goes out of bounds. And Chaminade wins the point. A little miscommunication, a little confusion there. That back, that back corner ref had his flag up. Looked like it was a violation on Kellenberg, but they, they allowed that play to continue. Doesn't matter as Chaminade gets the point, but still, we saw a few guys stop play there. So, it'll be certain rights for Chaminade. Got to climb a little bit, down by two. Again, if they win this set, they are the league champions for a fourth straight year. Here's Renda with the serve. And Kalanga cannot handle, handle as Sanders goes flying to try and save that ball. And Chaminade out of the timeout. They responded with two. Again, wanted to slow it down just for the first points or two. And then now you're Chaminade, you have the serving rights. Now you want to push it and put the back and put Kellenberg on the back foot. Here's Renda. This time Galanga handles it. Murray gets it over on the third. Jacob sets it up for Reese with the kill. And it's going to be Kellenberg point, a violation as Reese went over the net. Crucial victory for the Firebirds as Chaminade was looking to tie the score there. Now Ethan Murray will serve for Kellenberg. Coach Dubon looking to get his team organized here. And he'll get his guys that he wants on the floor. Kellenberg up 22-20, trying to force a fourth set. Chaminade looking to sweep and win their fourth straight championship. Something that I mentioned, Chaminade in that Holy Trinity game really wasn't that vocal on the bench. They wouldn't really cheer or chirp during their serves. Now, during this Kellenberg game, they are rowdy, they are vocal on the bench. Similar to Kellenberg, Kellenberg's done this all year, but this is kind of new for Chaminade, really leaning into that, that top of the mountain, kind of big dogs of the division. They will, will talk their talk, and they've backed it up so far, up 2-0 in sets in this title game. Referees over at the scorer's table here, so that's why play is stopped as the tension eases for the time being. You know, I don't really know who it favors if you're, especially with a lead like Kellenberg, maybe you, you, you don't know if you want to keep it going or, or slow it down. You don't want to stifle any Shamna momentum. Conversation over. It'll be serving rights to Kellenberg. The, ma the majority crowd is blue and gold today in favor of Kellenberg. They're up in support of their Firebirds as Murray sends it over. Reese will go with the tap, but it's a nice save by Murray. But Puglisi looked a little out of position there, and Chaminade gets the point. Puglisi trying to really go with a little unconventional, kind of get some spin, some backspin on it while trying to get it over. Gets the backspin, but he can't get it over. It's a point for Chaminade. Schmidt, Puglisi, Tajos will go off of O'Connor, and it's a crucial point for Kellenberg as Tajios comes through again. Tajios, again, too much power in that serve for the blockers of Chaminade to handle. O'Connor's got a chance to save it. It was a little bit out of position. Tries to get one hand on it, can't get enough. It's Kellenberg serving rights. Two points away from staying alive and taking this third set. Here's Bargellini for Kellenberg. Gets it over. McCurley, Guido, Reese will go with the two-hand touch. Bargellini with the bump. They'll get it. And Sanders will go for the kill. Goes off of Reese. And Kellenberg's within one point of keeping their season alive. This place is rocking. Kellenberg showing out in forces. 
And now they got all the momentum, all the adrenaline on their side, one point away from taking this third set. Bargellini lobs it over. They'll go with Shaw, it's blocked by Exarhos. And Kellenberg is hyped. They keep their season alive for at least one more set. Don't tune away just yet, folks. Just when it seemed like Chaminade was gonna go on one of those hot streak, here come the Firebirds. They're the ones who are on fire right now. And again, a much needed win. You had to win that one to keep your season alive. And they do just that, taking that set 25 to 21. So after three sets, Chaminade still leads it two to one. They'll look to finish it off next time. Kellenberg will look to keep their season going one more set. We'll be back for set number four after this. Experience. Trusted. Proven. Excellence. Over 20 years of professional sports video production. The industry standard. TND Sports Video Production. Whether it's a single game, a whole season, or a college recruitment video, TND Sports is your one stop video solution. T and &E Sports Video Productions. All sports, all levels, all the time. Experience. Trusted. Proven. Excellence. Over 20 years of professional sports video production. The industry standard. TND Sports Video Production. Whether it's a single game, a whole season, or a college recruitment video, TND Sports is your one stop video solution. D and &E Sports Video Production. Welcome back to Adelphi University. All sports, University. all levels, all the time. Welcome back to the fourth set at Adelphi University, the Catholic League Volleyball Finals between Chaminade and Kellenberg. Chaminade leads two sets to one. They jumped out 2-0 early before Kellenberg with a big victory to keep their season alive. I'm Roman Brunetti alongside Connor Kuntz. And Connor, this shaping up to be an exciting fourth set. You know, as I mentioned before, I wouldn't be surprised this game went to five sets. And Kellenberg looking to do all they can to get to five sets. You know, Chaminade, one more set's all it takes. And they win the league title for a fourth straight year. Kellenberg needs to rally off two straight sets in order to come back from down 2-0 in sets. And they're gonna do so. They're gonna need Michael Taggio to keep that streak going. He has been incredible so far for the Fires. As I mentioned, only a sophomore, but he has stepped up, acted like one of the true leaders of this team, and it doesn't help that he's played incredible, especially in that third set when Kellenberg needed to take that set. So Kellenberg will have serving rights to start the fourth set. Looking to keep their season alive once more. It'll be Chris Puglisi, number eight. McCurley gets down and digs that. It'll be the tap from Shaw. Ben Exarhos gets up there and sends it back. And Kellenberg up 1-0. Exarhos, good job just getting up. Shaw, one of the taller guys you'll see, trying to get a tip. Exarhos gets up high though. Able to send that one right back. What a save by Prince with the foot. 
Grail gets it over on the third. Now Murray with the kill. Nice play by Guido. They hustle back to get it. Wow, what a play by the Flyers, but that's going to go too far. So some great efforts by the Flyers, but Schmidt lets that go and Kellenberg up 2-0. Great effort all you want, but they need points. Otherwise, you know, Kellenberg, they are known as well to go on hot streaks, especially when they got the serving rights and they can rally off a few unorthodox sets just like you've seen there. Carboy goes with the tap, but it's sent back by Murray. And Kellenberg coming out guns a blazing here in set number four. They're up 3 0. What I really like what Kellenberg's doing is they kind of toned down really the adrenaline. They were high off their horses after that first after that first set win in, in this third set. They've cooled down a little bit, staying composed, but their line, that's Maverick Carboy. Showing why he's one of the best on this Flyers team. Carboy gets the point there for Shamanad. Shamanad on the board here in the fourth set. Three to one. Nick Jacob will serve here for Shamanad, the freshman from Roslyn. Playing a large role as just a freshman. Murray with the dig. He'll get a chance with the spike. But Jacob is there with the dig. They hustle after it. But Rail with a little bit of a miss hit on the bump. And it's 4-1 Kellenberg. It's as simple as a miscommunication. But Curly Rail both say, I got it, I got it. But then, you know, you kind of wonder who's really got it. And they kind of both go for it at the same time. It goes wide. Carboy does the best he can to save it. Goes out of bounds. Kellenberg up three. But Galanga serves it a little too far. And Chaminade gets a point right back. It's 4-2. Carboy will serve now for Chaminade. Tagios bumps it up. He'll get an opportunity with the spike. But a nice play by Carboy. Now the two-handed touch from O'Connor. Tagio saves it and he gets it in. What a play by Tajos, off balance. Gets the point there. Carboy comes over to talk with the referee. It's and just Kellenberg with some early momentum. My bad, it's a little hard to hear with all this noise happening around. But it's just perfect from Tajos. Doesn't go for power, goes for accuracy and puts it right in that bottom corner. Jacob, Carboy comes from behind and it goes off of Puglisi's fingertips, and Shamana gets the point. Carboy oh catch a little break there. Looked like it might have been going out of bounds. If it wasn't going out of bounds, it would be pretty close. Puglisi decides, I'm going to take my chances. Goes off his fingertips, however. Grail with the serve. Tajos on the far side. A diving play to keep it alive by Carboy. O'Connor gets it over on the third. Now Tajos again, and he's able to Power it past the blocks of Reese and Renda. Tajos does it again at 6-3. Tajos with a flex there, showing why he belongs on the stage. Again, he's only a sophomore, but he's producing like he's had years of experience. He's been one of the best players for the Firebirds today. Carboy again coming from behind, but sends it way past the back line. And Kellenberg starting to become the Kellenberg we've seen all season, and it's 7-3. Jacob with a high bump, Reese the tap, and he kind of threw everyone off there, and Brady Reese comes through for the Flyers. It may seem simple, that is dirty right there from Brady Reese. Blockers go up, and it's almost like he kind of hits it upwards with his fingertips, and gets enough tossing to get it high enough, but also get it forward enough to put it right in that sweet spot in the heart of that defense. They'll set up. Sanders on the near side, a nice block, and Chaminade keeps it alive. Shaw on the far side with the kill, Christian Shaw. Now it's Shaw with a little flex there this time, and he goes cross court, he loves that little cross court kill. Gets another one. And Chaminade starting to creep back, they were down by four now. 
They've cut that lead in half. Puglisi will get over to Tagios on the far side. A nice block. Reese keeps it alive. Wow. And on the third, and Carboy serves it right into the net. And again, Tagios, he's just so strong on those spikes that you're going to have to recover quickly for Shamrod, especially those blockers. Got to get back because Tajic, he can whip it from that far outside on his really his left coming into his right, kind of go cross court. You know, you can block it, but it's after that that you got to execute. O'Connor, Guido on for the first time in the fourth set, but O'Connor, a little too, gets a little too on top of that one and sends it into the net, 9-5. Just big time play so far from Kallenberg. They're letting Shaman make mistakes here. Reese goes with the tap, but a nice dig by Schmidt. Sanders goes for the kill, a nice dig by Rail, but it goes out of the reach of Guido and Coach Dubon wants a timeout. So Kellenberg starting to fire up here as they lead the fourth set 10 to five. Like I said earlier, don't let this Firebirds team get high because when they do, it's gonna be a while for them to get that serving right back in your Chaminade. It's been around a three to four point run so far from the Firebirds. And one of the things they've been able to do is they've been starting to get their guys going. Tajios, as we mentioned before, Playing one of the best games of his career, really. Again, only a sophomore, he's a young guy, but he's been producing in bunches. Pugisi as well has been incredible. And Schmidt has done a great job as a libero with these digs. So it's an all-around effort, but really there's one guy at the center of that, and right now it's Michael Tajos for Kellenberg. And Connor, we've almost seen, like the scripts have almost flipped from the beginning. We saw Shamanad get up 2-0, well, and they looked like they were on a roll, but it seems like Kellenberg has kind of flipped the script here and they're the ones on the aggression. Yeah, Kellenberg, they, you know, you're down by two. Sometimes you get some of those nerves, but they've done a good job staying composed, staying cool. And now you look at them, they're up by five in the fourth set. And they're looking to tie it up in sets and go to that all important fifth set. Nice play by Murray with the dig. On the other side, Xarhos with a two handed touch. Recovers, Reese goes for the kill. It's blocked, still alive. And O'Connor gets it over. An eventful rally so far. Rail keeps it alive for Chaminade. And Shaw on the third. Up in the air, it's going to be Chaminade point as Puglisi hit the net. That's a big rally from Chaminade. You would look like you were out of it, and then Shaw comes in. Kalach, excuse me, that's, yeah, it was Christian Shaw. He got off the fingertips, called for a violation on Kellenberg, and now Chaminade with seven rights. Exarhos on the far side. That hit the antenna, hit the net. And Shaman with two points out of the timeout. It's 10 to seven. Yeah, again, Dubon, Coach Dubon has done a great job calling timeouts. You know, Coach Trent Acosta is really the head coach, but Mr. Coach Peter Dubon has been really at the focal range of the Shaman team. Exarhos tries again, he's rejected by Reese. Shaw will try, Bargellini gets on the floor with the kill. And some miscommunication on Kellenberg. And Shabanad with three points out of the timeout now. It's 10 to eight. You know, Shaw, he missed hit that ball. But really, it worked out for the best as got Kellenberg all out of sorts. And now it's Shabanad on a three-point run here. Okay. A mistake there from O'Connor. He gives the serving right back to Kellenberg with a... Yeah, that's not what you want when you're looking like you're on a high streak. The last thing you want to do is kill any momentum you have. You know, Shamanad, they've known they can go back and get those high streaks, but Kellenberg's also known, as you saw there in this third set, they can go on a high streak themselves. It's an inaccurate serve. And Kellenberg wins the point again. Puglisi taps it down to extend the Kellenberg lead, excuse me, extend the Kellenberg lead back to four. Sanders with the serve. McCurley to Guido, Reese. But he did not get it over the net nearly enough. He almost tapped it down onto his own side without even hitting the net. That ball stuck to Reese almost like blue there. Kind of wanted to kind of send it down over the net, but sends it right down almost on himself. Uh, that's not one 
that Reese will put in his highlight reel at the end of the year. China will set it up, re and it will be Carboy with the tap. Defended well. Now Exarhos goes for the spike, but a nice play by Shaw on the far side for Shabanov. Christian Shaw, a name really haven't mentioned much today, but he's been one of the best players. His blocking has been incredible today. Really the leader of that blocking unit with guys like Reese and Carboy. He's done a good job today. Gleesey hustles back to get that one. Murray from a long way out, hits the net. Nice play by Reese. Two way to touch, defended well by McCurley. Now Prince will get it over, and he gets the kill. Nick Guido as well. I mean, he's been so key on those digs. Sets up Prince perfectly. Prince just sends it right down. Not a lot of pace, but it's perfectly accurate for Thomas Prince. Exarhos will go with the tap, but it goes out of bounds. Misfire on the tap. And Chaminade strikes back with three in a row. It's 13 to 11. And Coach Heitner wants a timeout for Kellenberg. Again, it's really, the, it's really, it was really back and forth on those first three sets. Now it's run after run after run after run. Chaminade, you start to feel like they're going on one of their runs now after Kellenberg was on a three-point run. Kellenberg scored. Kellenberg scored three straight. It was 10-5. Then it turned to 10-8, and then Kellenberg got certain rights back, scored three straight, and now Chavanagh has scored three straight, and Coach Heitner's like, all right, we're gonna take a timeout and just reset here. And you see Chavanagh, they're staying composed, they gotta stay cool. You know, again, you're up 2-1. Next set, if they win the next set, it's all over, you get another league title. So, again, the ba Kellenberg's backs are against the wall. It's up to Kellenberg to see how they respond, but Chavanagh's also, Got to meet him right there to make sure that, again, Kellenberg doesn't go off once again. And Connor took the words right out of my mouth there. I was about to say it was a game of runs. 13-11, Kellenberg. Reese will serve for Chaminade. Puglisi will get it up. Pinto goes with the tap, but defended well by Carboy. Kellenberg will reset. They'll go back to Murray. McCurley, they hustle back with the Reese, and on the third one, Shaw gets it over. They'll set up Exarhos, but he cannot get it over. Oh, it will go to Kellenberg. It will be Kellenberg point. Exarhos has also done. It's hard to hear. It's, it's so loud. We keep interrupting each other. My apologies, Roman. But Exarhos, he's been on the same level as, as Taj is with those spikes, just gets it in front of Shaw. And Shaw's gonna get another kill there. As that one falls just in front of the dive of Bargellini. Kellenberg made a thought. They gotta touch on that that it didn't hit the ground, but officials say it did hit the ground. And now maybe you start to see a trend of it going back and forth. Kellenberg up by two, but Jacob with the serve. Here's Exarhos, rolls on the top of the net, goes back to Kellenberg, and Murray spikes it into the net. So all over the place there on that possession from Kellenberg, and Shamanon back within one point. Wild possession for Kellenberg, couldn't recover just in time. Now, Kel now Shamanon with serving right still, down by one. Murray goes with the tap. But it's sent back by Renda, and all of a sudden the game is tied at 14. Big time rejection there from Ronald Renda. All tied up at Adelphi. Chavnot still with the seven rights. You feel maybe another flyer run could be coming in the cards. Jacob lobs it over. And here's Exarhos. Nice play by Renda. Now on the near side, Carboy. And it is just out of bounds. I mean, maybe an inch or two. That ball is away from nicking that back line. Carboy gets a little lucky, a little too powerful. Good job from Kellenberg being aware enough to let that ball go. Now up by one with the serving rights. Big time point here for both squads. Jacob back to Carboy coming from behind, but defended well by Puglisi. Now Tagios got it. Michael Tagios once again. 
Yeah, Carboy a little frustrated with himself. He thought he should, he thought he should have got that. But again, Taj just, he's only a sophomore, but he's showing that power on display in bunches today. Prince coming up from behind. A nice play by Galanga. But Renda at the net tips it back. And Chaminade responds with a point. It's 16 to 15. Chaminade has excelled in the blocking game today. No part of it thanks to Ronald Renda. He's got two straight blocks for the Flyers. He's been impeccable today in that front line. Nice dig by Schmidt for Kellenberg. Now Murray is sent back by O'Connor and Prince. What a block from Thomas Prince. Another block, two straight blocks in a row for Chaminade. They've tied it all up, 16 to 16 in the fourth set. If Chaminade wins this set, it's all over. If Kellenberg wins this set, we will go to one of the best hearings, one of the best lines in volleyball, set number five. Well, as Connor mentioned, 16-16. Chaminade with serving rights with Bobby Carboy, the leader of this team. Nice dig by Tajus, but it goes right back over to Chaminade. Prince will go for the kill, and Galanga cannot handle it. And the Flyers have taken the lead. Prince coming up big. Two straight points for Thomas Prince. Again, he's a junior. Again, both these teams are sort of young in the sense that not a lot of seniors, but they're showing why they belong, and Prince doing it so there. Our boy again, nice play by Galanga, of course, right back over to Shamanad. Jacob will set it up for Renda, and it goes off of Tajos. And the Flyers up two now. We go to the instant replay, great center from Jacob, and the whip on that from Ronald Renda. Too much for Kellenberg to handle, and Kellenberg takes a timeout. They're on their last life here. How can they respond as the Flyers have been streaking up by two, 18 to six. Again, if Chaminade wins this set, they are league champions for the fourth straight year. Connor, obviously, this is do or die here for Kellenberg. What's it gonna take here, the rest of this set, to keep their season alive? You gotta start slowing it down. You gotta hope Shamanad can make some mistakes because right now Shamanad, they're rolling, they're on fire, they're feeling themselves. You can hear in the huddle, it's all from Shamanad. Tell them they gotta go back to what they were doing before. Set up Tajios, get clean digs, get clean sets, and then set up guys like Tajios, Exoros, and try to set up Murray. You haven't really mentioned Murray at all in this fourth set. He's been pretty quiet. Just goes to show Shamanad's defense, especially on that front line. The blocking game has been superb, especially on the outside shots. Eighteen sixteen Flyers, they also lead the match two sets to one. Carboy will continue his turn at serve. Schmidt to Puglisi, out to Tagios, and a dig from Carboy. He'll go for the, sp he'll hit it over, excuse me. They'll try Tagios again, hits Jacob, but Carboy there to back him up, and O'Connor gets it over. They'll try Tajios again, and this time he sticks it. Tajios coming up clutch, clutch once again for Kellenberg. His seventh sir, seventh kill of the day. This one, it goes right in the, in the hands of Prince. Prince can't get it over in time. Now it's Kellenberg with Subic rights down by one. Jacob will get it to Prince, who goes with the spike. And the kill, and it's 1917 Flyers. Prince does it again. Prince gets three out of the four last points for Chaminade. One of the best few rallies of his career. And now Chaminade up by two with serving rights. And that was too far behind Sanders. They were setting it up for him, but he could not reach back and grab that one. The Flyers are within five of that fourth straight title. Rail the server. Galang to Puglisi. Murray will get a crucial kill for Kellenberg. Unlucky break for Shaman. It seemed like Carboy had that ball ready. It looked like he was going to get a clean kill. 
Rail doesn't realize Carboy's behind him, goes to try to save it himself off the hands of Rail, and now it's Kelnick with serving rights. Diving play by Rail. O'Connor will go for the kill, but a nice play by Galanga. Now Tajos on the far side is blocked by Reese. That's the captain right there, Brady Reese, getting up high and getting the block. Big time play from number 26 in white. Shamrod four points away from their fourth straight Catholic title. Kellenberg still in this, they're down three. But it's really do or die time now. Guido is the server. As there's some moisture on the floor, they'll wipe that up. Right now, if you're Kellenberg, mental mistakes, they gotta, they gotta go. You can't be making miscommunication. You gotta play perfect volleyball from now up until that, in hopefully that fifth set. But right now, you gotta play perfect volleyball if you wanna stay, keep your season alive. Here's Guido. They get Sanders an opportunity, but defended well by the Flyers. The tap is no good. Kellenberg will get another opportunity. They'll set up Sanders again. Some miscommunication. Great save by Carboy and Shaw gets it over. They'll try again. Tagios is blocked. It's going to be, let's see what the refs call it. They'll call Kellenberg point, and that's important. They'll, they are within two. Shaw fingertips away. Just a few more inches, and that would have been sent right back. But Tajos gets enough height on that ball. Violation called on Shaw. Kellenberg with the servant rights. Reese will go for the kill. Bargellini is there. Exarhos with the kill. And Kellenberg is within, is within one. Great set there, and it's Exarhos who shows up big time. His seventh kill of the game. Kellenberg only down by one. They still have the servant rights of Bargellini. Shaw will go with the tap, but defended well by the Firebirds. Now Sanders, but he hits it into the net. It's blocked. That is O'Connor. Chaminade back up by two. The backward set for Sanders, but O'Connor had that red the entire way. Sends it back. Three points away now for another lead title for Chaminade. Go with Xaros on the far side, but Guido is there. Now they'll try Shaw on the far side. It's blocked by Xaros. Big time block there from Xaros. Sends it right back. Shaw was again looking for that cross court spike, but it was Xaros who's ran the whole way through. Back and forth now. The runs are over. It's who's got the, it's the battle of wits. Who's got enough left in the tank? They go with Carboy. And a nice dig by Sanders, but some miscommunication between Puglisi and Murray, and Chaminade now within two points of the title. He says that Puglisi might have lost his footing there. He looked like he had it, but maybe he trips on himself and has to dive for it, can't get there in time. Two points now is the magic number for the Flyers. There's Brady Reese, Margellini. Puglisi, and they get it over on the third. Guido will get it. Prince, and it's defended well. That is Pinto. We haven't really called his name much today, but he makes a crucial play there to keep Kellenberg within a point. Pince, Prince looking for that little tap over. Pinto had it all the way through, sends it back. 22 to 23 the score. Kellenberg down by one, but they do have the serving rights. Puglisi looking to make some ends. I know we'll get it up. Carboy will go with the tap. Defended well by the Firebirds. Now Xarhos. Rail with the sliding stop. Guido on the third, but he cannot get it over. Tied at 23. I mean, this is a game. Every set's been close. Been back and forth now for a little bit. All tied at 23. Remember, you do have to win by two to take the set. Curly with the dig, but some miscommunication. Kellenberg is up by one, and they have an opportunity to even the, even the match as Chaminade will take a timeout here. 24-23 to score, and Port Kellenberg has the serving right, so they will start off a possession. 
and there it's miscommunication from Chaminade. Guido, Guido, excuse me, and Corboy. Lack of communication there, just leaves, drops it down. So 24 23, Kellenberg up by one, again with the serving rights, looking to tie it up in sets. Again, you have to win by two, so if Sham not able to get a point here, we will go into extras. Now, this has been a, such a fun game to watch. A great game for the fans watching at home, too, and a great game for the fans that are here in the building at Adelphi. It is loud in this building, coming from both squads. Kellenberg has been rowdy all game. Shaman has been rowdy all game. And again, sometimes it's not about who's got the most skill, it's just who's got enough, who's got enough left in the tank to survive a full set. The Kellenberg crowd is up. It'll be Puglisi to serve. McCurley with an inadvertent bump. And Shamanad, excuse me now, Kellenberg, has tied the match at two apiece. And we will be going to the fifth and final deciding set. Kellenberg have climbed the mountain. They're there. They're met with Chaminade. 2-2 two -two now in sets. And it comes down to the most elusive sport name, elusive terms in volleyball. Set number five upcoming here at Adelphi. So we'll be back after this for the fifth and final set from Adelphi University. We'll be right back. Experience. Trusted. Proven. Excellence. Over 20 years of professional sports video production. The industry standard, TND Sports Video Production. Whether it's a single game, a whole season, or a college recruitment video, TND Sports is your one-stop video solution. D&D Sports Video Productions. All sports, all levels, all the time. Experience. Trusted. Proven. Excellence. Over 20 years of professional sports video production. The industry standard. TND Sports Video Production. Whether it's a single game, a whole season, or a college recruitment video, TND Sports is your one stop video solution. D&D Sports Video Productions. All sports, all levels, all the time. Experience. Trusted. Proven. Excellence. Over 20 years of professional sports video production. The industry standard. TND Sports Video Production. Whether it's a single game, a whole season, or a college recruitment video, TND Sports is your one stop video solution. D&D Sports Video Productions. All sports, 
all levels, all the time. Welcome back. It is the fifth and final set of the Catholic League Volleyball Championship between Chaminade and Kellenberg, all knotted at two. I am Roman Brunetti alongside Connor Kuntz. And Connor, Chaminade hop, uh, hopped up to a 2-0 lead, but Kellenberg has fought back and they've really gained the momentum here. Yeah, some teams would just, you know, fall and just give up, but that's not that firebird mentality. They kept battling, they kept pushing and they completed what many were saying was impossible. They completed the two no comeback. They're right there. And now they got one more set to go. It's, winner, it's do or die, winner take all. Whoever wins this set are the Catholic League champions and move on to the intersectional state championships against Iona Prep, who I'm sure a few of you guys are tuned into this game seeing the outcome, but nonetheless, you got a great game here and Again, it's only gonna get better, especially with set number five coming up as Chaminade starts with the serving rights. Nick Jacob will get the fifth and final set underway. Borgellini with the bump, they'll get it. Murray will go for the spike, but a nice play by McCurley. Now Carboy with the spike, and it will be Chaminade point as they are off to the 1-0 to the start here in set number five. Carboy has done it all for Chaminade today. Five kills, four digs, three blocks. Gets the first point on the board for the Flyers. So 1-0 Flyers will get to Exarhos. It's blocked, they keep it alive. Exarhos will try again with the two-handed touch. Gets it over. Now Carboy with the tap, and it falls down in the middle. 2-0 Chaminade. Two straight points there from Carboy. That time, just a little bit of a tap. It's all it takes. Puts in the, that sweet spot again, that heart of the defense. No one's covering it. Jacob still with the serve for Chavanad. A big kill there from Exarhos on the far side as he gets Kellenberg on the board here in the fifth set. Yeah, you can take your pick. Either Tajas or Exarhos should probably get the same result. Outside hit, great spike. Now the lead is 2-1 to Chaminade. Carboy gets it over on the third. Kellenberg will set up. It will be Murray, a nice save with the arm with by Jacob and he'll get it over on the third. Now Exaros with a tap, defended well by Carboy and it's Chaminade point. Three straight points from Carboy for Chaminade. He is starting where he left off and it's now 3-1 Chaminade in the fourth set. Carboy now. They'll get it to Exarhos, the two-handed touch over. Now Jacob will set up Renda, he'll go for the kill. And the block goes out of bounds, and it's 4-1 Flyers. Renda puts that spike on an angle. It's blocked by the Kellenberg blockers, but because of that angle, it goes straight out of bounds. Three straight points for Chaminade, up 4-1 in the fifth set. Carboy will serve again off the net. Great composure by Bargellini there. Murray gets it over on the third. Rail sets it up on the third. Carboy gets it over, but some miscommunication by the Kellenberg defense on the back zone, and Chaminade opens up with a 5-1 lead, and Coach Heitner needs to talk things over with his squad. Nightmare start for the Firebirds. One thing you didn't want to do was kill all the momentum you just got from going down two sets to coming back and tying this game up in two sets. You kind of just squandered anything you had. Chaminade. A big run now up 5-1 in this fifth set. And it's been the Car Bobby Carboy show so far. Three out of the five Chaminade points. And again, on that, on that kill from him, it, it, really, it doesn't really get much easier from that. A little miscommunication from the Firebirds leads to an easy point. Serving right still in favor of Chaminade. And 5-1 the score, as I mentioned. Again, it's, it's winner take all. Where the set moves on to the intersectional championships. And in doing so, 
who are the Catholic League champions. So both teams back out. Shamanan up 5-1 here in this fifth and deciding set. They have the momentum so far, they, can they keep it all the way through? Kellenberg's been fighting uphill all day and they'll have to do it again here in the fifth set. Carboy will serve and it's gonna be an ace. Bobby Carboy turning it up when it matters most. Give that man a bonus if you had a contract because he is firing right now. That's his second ace of the game. Bobby Carboy is turning, it, turning this show into the Bobby Carboy show. Nice dig by Bargellini. On the other side, Murray, a nice block. O'Connor keeps it alive, and he will get it over on the third. They'll set up another opportunity with Murray, and this time he converts. There's the Ethan Murray. We know once again that outside hitter. And yet, as you mentioned, you may seem he's quiet, but he leads this game with 11 kills so far. And again, he's a guy that you really need to start, that you really need to go on fire in this fifth set. Renda with the tap, but defended well by Tagios. Tagios will go with his own tap, but it goes out of bounds, no tip. And it will be Chaminade point, they lead seven to two. You can see what Tagios is looking for when he tries to go a little love tap. He hits him low, trying to get a tip out of bounds. Chaminade stays disciplined, puts their fingers back. Now with serving rights, up seven two. Tajos will go again, it's blocked, but it goes out of bounds. And Kellenberg with the point there, seven to three. And it's Tajos, really, again, take your pick. Murray, Exaros, or Tajos, you'll get the same amount of power, you get the same amount of accuracy with, uh, with, with, uh, with all three of them. What a mistake there by Schmidt. He can't get it over the net, and you can see it right away there. He put his hands over his face. In and disappointment. Kellen, again, Kellenberg with the, you know, the self mistakes, the mistakes they've done to themselves. Shamanad is just sitting back, saying, "Hey, let you make mistakes all you want." Shamanad up five, eight to three, the score in this fifth set. Guido the serve, they'll get it. Murray will go for the kill, but a nice play by Carboy on the floor. Back to the other side. Tajos will try his luck, and it goes out of bounds. Great dig there by Carboy. It's another good set as well from Nick Wido. He'll have the serving rights for Chavonade up 9-3 as that Kellenberg spike goes out of bounds. Chavonade got to a big lead, six point lead. Again, score 9-3 in the fifth set. Wido serves it across. He'll go for the kill but defended well by Rail. Now Reese, the two ended tap. Galega cannot get there. And Chaminade firing on all cylinders in the fifth set. They're up 10 to three. That's Reese's first point in the set. And he extends it to a seven point lead. 10 to three the score in this fifth set. Chaminade with all the momentum right now. Ten three flyers now. Guido. Gets it across, they'll hustle after it. And on the third, Sanders gets it over. Chaminade scrambling, here Shaw goes for the kill. Galanga hustles after it and makes the play and they'll get it across on the third. Now Chaminade tries again, it will be Reese goes for the kill and he's got it, Brady Reese. And the Flyers have the largest lead of the day, it's eight. Gotta give credit to Chris Pogisi making an incredible save. Kellenberg calls a timeout, Brady Reese showing why. He's one of the best on the island. You can see there, Chaminade, hey, let's calm it down, let's calm it down. They're up by eight. Last thing they need is to start getting hype and start to you know, over, get overzealous and start going for those big time plays. And one of the things I love that Chaminade has done in this fifth set is how they respond to adversity. You're up two sets, you had this game in the bag. Kellenberg fires right back, two straight sets. Kellenberg fans getting rowdy, their bench getting rowdy, their players on the court getting rally. Some teams would crumble under the pressure, crumble under the nerves. Not the Flyers though, they've been here before. They know how to deal with every type of situation and they're showing it now. An eight point lead, score 11 to three. This fifth set again, a winner take all set, winner moves on. 
to play Iona Prep in the Intersectional Championship, as well as becoming a Catholic League champion. Well, you had to wonder if maybe Shamanan was pressing towards the end of that fourth set, but they've kept their composure here in set number five, and they have an eight point lead, largest of the day by any team. Get it to Murray on the near side. It's gonna go off of a Chaminade blocker and out of bounds, it will be Kellenberg point. This is where Kellenberg gonna have to go one of those big runs again. You got one of your best guys, Ethan Murray, as a server, see what he can maybe generate on the serve. Shaw cannot get it over. And Kellenberg right out of the timeout is two quick points. Again with the serve, you kinda wanna get Chaminade out of sorts here. That's what Murray does. With Guido, Chaminade out of position. Now down by six, and it will go out of bounds. A great awareness, however, from Rail. Happened so quick. Again, it has been a fast-paced game so far, Roman. Chaminade up by seven, 12 to five the score. And again, it's been back and forth all day. O'Connor will serve now. Tajios with the kill, that's big. Tajios playing an outstanding game for Kellenberg and they are back within six. As I mentioned before, Michael Tajos has stepped up in bunches today for Kellenberg. He's been the, pr the premier outside hitter for this Firebird squad. Shows again why he's one of the best on this team only as a sophomore. Reese will go for the kill. It's blocked, but no, a violation. Brady Reese does it again. Menacing, it's 13 to six. I mean, we got headsets on, and we're up in a, in, a, in a booth, and I can hear Reese. That blast on that spike, it's so powerful, it's so deadly, honestly scary sometimes from Brady Reese. Exarhos will go for the kill, and it is just past. No, they'll give it, they'll give Kellenberg the point with the tip. Again, it was Exarhos. Was it tip, maybe, but it looked like it may have also nicked that bottom, that far corner. So it'll be a point for Kellenberg and serving rights as well for Kellenberg. 13-7 Flyers. And it will be Prince with the kill. Thomas Prince has come through when they've needed it. And he comes through that's, again there with the kill. That's a great set there by Nick Wido. Sets it up, gets Kellenberg to jump. Because it's so close to the net. He gets Kellenberg blockers to jump up. And then that's too easy for Brady Reese. To send it back down once again. Chaminade with the serving rights up by seven. They'll get it to Exarhos on the other side. Blocked and defended well. Kellenberg will try to recover and they will eventually, but it goes a little too far. And Chaminade wins it. They reach the pinnacle, they get to that magic number 15. And in a Chaminade has done it. They win the Catholic League number four in a row. In a fifth set, it's first to 15, and Chaminade does just that. Again, it's great awareness from Chaminade. They leave that ball out, barely misses that bottom corner, and Chaminade showing some great adversity here. They were up two. They blew the two-nothing lead, so they were tied at two, but then showing why... They are the top of the mound, their four straight league title as they take the set, as they take the fifth set, 15 to seven. So the Flyers, they survive. They prevent what could have been a, a historical championship collapse. And they take the fifth and final set, 15 to seven. They win the match three games to two. They win the Catholic League Championship and they'll play Iona Prep in the intersectionals on Wednesday. I wanna say thank you to everyone today. Thank you to our PAA guy, Will Amante, our statistician, Sean Mansfield, our cameraman from TND Sports. From all of us at the Chaminade Sports Broadcasting Team and TND Sports, thank you for watching. Have a fantastic night.
And next. 